have probably what, 80, I'd say. Uh, we have one, we have art from the original SPF Matt Ross, and all about the SPF Matt Ross, Matt Ross University the Cafe. There's uh, transforming employees in uh, various stages. So if you check on the Twitter, there's a setting that you can set up now. Um, and uh, he was 
extremely young at, at the time that he created this. Uh, his uh, college uh, classmate, uh, also phenomenally talented, Haruhiko Mikimoto. Uh, these two, uh, you know, just the confluence of the universe that these two people met and had the talent that they did and had created uh, you know, what they have. I mean, to me, I look at them and said, this is uh, the anime version of Lennon and McCarthy. <laughs> they, they, I think that their uh, uh, contribution uh, to anime uh, and, and creating something as amazing as Supernatural and Fortress of Macross is just, uh, it's, it's something that, uh, that I'm grateful for every day. Uh, another gentleman uh, on, um, to the right, uh, is also not as, as uh, well known uh, in the West, but he is incredibly influential as uh, Kazutaka Miyatake, where Shoshikawa Mori designed the Audrey Fighter, which is, uh, is an amazing uh, piece of mecha. Kazutaka Miyatake designed pretty much everything else in Macross. Um, the Desecrates, all those in Trati, Miltrani, uh, mecha, and, uh, and Destroits as well. So, you know, he had his hand in everything, and he was very much a mentor uh, to Kaori, especially. Um, and um, the uh, Hikaru Ichijo Roy Hawker relationship is kind of a, a, a reflection of Kaori's relationship with uh, Miyataki san. And, uh, that is uh, something right there is the core that you have this incredibly important group of people creating that original series. I uh, want to introduce uh, a couple more uh, people that are really, really involved. Uh, Hiroshi Iwata, uh, who is very much involved in writing and the production of the show. Uh, Ichiro Otano, uh, and what is he famous for? The atomic circuits, okay? all, the, all the, the twisting and wild uh, movements of the missiles, that's his trademark. And uh, of course he's a very, very colorful character. <laughs> that you can see from the uh, Toshiro Hirano, uh, who became a character designer of uh, great uh, renown uh, on his own after Macross, uh, was one of the assistants who worked on uh, very much on the animation of Macross. And another gentleman uh, that I want to pay particular uh, honor to is Kentaro Haneda, the late uh, composer of Superdimension Fortress Macross, uh, who is very, very involved, you know, right from the beginning, really giving Macross its soul as part of the music. Uh, he was very involved in the writing of the songs, uh, and uh, his music is just as timeless as any. Uh, musical score that, that I've ever listened to. Uh, and uh, he's a, a great, again, a great contributor uh, to amazing uh, uh, anime. Uh, I want to uh, bring you to special attention to, back to Kazutake Miyatake. If you look at the, uh, on the right, the Kazutake Miyatake uh, design works is a book that you must have if you are a fan of mega design. It is an amazing book. I highly recommend uh, uh, you go out and get it. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you still will find it on Amazon. Or, you can find it. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. but it's a, it's an amazing book. Uh, the one picture right there is of uh, 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 Miyatake uh, back in the days of the production of Macross, and uh, the colored picture is a picture of Miyatake uh, San today, and he is uh, doing well. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, in 2021, there was a very tragic uh, incident in May of 2021, which is home studio with his wife, uh, who he'd been married to for over 35 years. Um, but Miyatake san is still uh, is, is doing well today. Uh, but uh, we have the, uh, a GoFundMe has been created to help uh, Mr. Uh, Miyatake, and uh, we have raised over uh, fifty-eight thousand dollars. Uh, so far, uh, if you can contribute, this uh, GoFundMe is still uh, active, and uh, if you can, uh, please contribute. Uh, every uh, every penny uh, definitely helps. Uh, and if you want to do 
this as an expression of gratitude for uh, all the, uh, what he has contributed uh, to, again, to 40 years of enjoyment. Uh, for me, as a, personally, as a fan, uh, I urge you all to uh, contribute uh, as much as possible. It's pretty amazing when you look at the GoFundMe uh, and you read the comments, the outpouring of love for Mia Tapia's work over the years. So if you decide to go and donate to the GoFundMe, I highly encourage you to do so. It's really lovely to see. And this helps rebuild this whole because it's a community that's not only from the studio, but the difference of home. So this really helps him, you know, keep creating, keep creating things to give to the fans. So this is something that we really are passionate about. Um, if you need a link, just come see us afterwards and we can give you that. Yeah, and if you go to the GoFundMe website and you type in Macross, this is the first thing that comes up. So this is, again, that's the first thing. Go to, go to GoFundMe and type in Macross and this is where you'll find it. Um, they did, last night I, I, I met a Gundam uh, mecha designer who, who has worked on very recent Gundams, and I asked him, well, who gives his favorite mecha designer? And, and he said, uh, that's the time. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so following up uh, the popularity of Macross, uh, Super Dimension Fortress Macross television show uh, was funny until eventually they said, hey, let's make another <coughs> Macross. And this right here, uh, Macross 2 Lovers Again, featuring the character designs of Power Hiko Mikimoto, uh, but this was not created by Studio Noe, who had created the original uh, series, but it uh, was to continue the Macross series in the second uh, 20 years. Uh, this is a six episode series, uh, and it's, uh, let's see, uh, features some, some great musical score, especially uh, the uh, songs are very, very good. And this is coming soon on home video. Uh, yeah, and then go. Who was at the Who was at the big with panel yesterday? Thank you. I wish I stayed all the way through. Uh, Andy Mayo will uh, be uh, uh, providing more information, so stay tuned. Follow them on uh, Follow Up Rough Wicked on Twitter. Um, but uh, again, this is a, a, a really great uh, title uh, for them. And if anyone, uh, who, who owns any of the Animego uh, Kickstarter uh, Blu-rays that they've come out with? They are exquisite. They put some real, real tender loving care into it. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with uh, that cross -tool. So this right here, four, four episodes of OVA. Um, you know, very, you know, like, uh, kind of, uh, took a lot of, uh, cues from the right stuff, Top Gun, uh, the, again, competition between the two pilots, um, and again, very, this one right here was, uh, did involve Studio UA, uh, Cal Moore, this was Cal Moore's return to working on Man Cross. Uh, again, four episode OVA, and then there was a, a, a movie, uh, version that was released as well. And you can get that on this one today. Kathleen, you're going to be limited, limited, right? Yes, anime limited. Uh, so for more info, go to macross.alltheanime.com. And to find out more information, again, this is a very exciting time, a great time to be a Macross fan.
first Mac Ross series installment that retroactively goes back to add to the lore instead of continuing forward along the timeline. Uh, it features music by Kuniaki Haishima and the Madagascan opera singer Holy Ross. Uh, the initial plot concept was actually changed midway through the production because of the events of 9 11. Um, it, the word on the street is that it was supposed to be much more serious, a bit more darker, more focused, um, but instead ended up Kalamori ended up going for the concept of technology clashing with culture. Um, let's see, and then with this series, you'll also see characters that tie into later shows as well, um, particularly characters Sarah and Mao Nong, if that last name sounds familiar, it's the TV series came out. So if we look at one of these scenes with Mao, where she's looking at the portrait of her family that the shelf just has cattle on it, when they released it again for the box set after Frontier came out, they added Cheryl Holmes' series <coughs> into the scene because they were described as fairly family heirloom during the Frontier TV series. All right, and the next one to come after is going to make Macross Frontier. I admit I'm a bit biased for this one. This one is my favorite. Even though it was my first, I still think it's the best one. She loves Frontier. <laughs> Um, so there was not only the plus, the 
cost announcement, the Delta and Frontier announcement, the MapRose 2 announcement, but also the Kentucky Tension is producing an all English book. And that is going to be coming out in fall of 2022 or here in San Diego Comic Con. You can get an early because it's only going to be invested there. So if you guys are going to see the Kentucky Tension, we'll be there. And he's starting to call the and that's from Udon. Uh, that's a lot of uh, great titles uh, under their belt. Uh, they're very excited about making uh, a book called with, again, with the rep, with Intact Attention's uh, direct involvement. Uh, and again, Intact Attention will be down in San Diego, uh, Comic Con, uh, to sign uh, that book. So if you want to pick it up, that was a great place to do it. Uh, and anyone who has, uh, who has uh, collected uh, his other books, Valkyrie, uh, those are just great uh, books to have. So we have 10 minutes for you to ask us any